Well, hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and this time we are reviewing reviewing the Desert Skiff and Duncan Patrol from 2000. So, on the front of the booklet, see picture in the set that comes within, and see LEGO logo name, or the set number and the name. And also the logo, the, but the two different variants of original trilogy and episode one, like with the original '99 versions, which they continued until 2001. So gun control, which just the last building steps, and no ultimate build for it. And this time around, some screen caps from the movie. And desert skiff, which on its back of which. A crazy alternate build, which Gungan Patrol didn't have. And just the last building steps. Again. So, for, and now on to the mini figs. So, the first choice of which is Jar Jar Binks. For this Jar Jar Binks. But except he's the older style. See, with the odd molded head penis. And he's holding a spear, which a little bit different than most of the 99 sets have. But, and no back torso print, because it's since it's an older figure. And headpiece still used to this day, but before it had any prints and whatnot. Next figure is Gungan Warrior, which didn't come in any other sets. It, and the shield piece here, of which is exclusive, but at least they did change it up in like 2010-11. And headpiece is just the same as Jar Jar's, but at least until in 2015 with Captain Tarpoles, they gave it another coloring to it. And I guess that is it with him. And onto the ones for Desert Skiff is the fur very original Luke Skywalker, but in the Jedi Knight outfit. And and as as you see has the chrome lightsaber, but if you can notice some of the like odd markings to it is that it's kinda of chipping, which many people complain about and it's why they ditched the chrome piece this thing. And no back torso print, nor double side face, since it's an older figure. But at least this one's nostalgic to many. And lastly is his older Han Solo one. And as the face print they also used on the recent uh, 20th anniversary one that comes with the dropship set. And this version, I don't think was in any other sets, just exclusive to this one. But no back torso print since it's an older figure. And let's see, he and Luke have the same hair pee. This for these. Probably because they just made do with what they had at the time. Please focus. Alright, well, there So, on for onto it, Gunk Patrol is you get a pair of the like uh, Gungan creatures called Kadus. Which do you have enough space to fit a saddle on to like so? And it's this molding which never which was never used in any other set. And as he does have a little stud on for the eye, which they often went for at the times. Either stud eyes or just den din kinda of eyes. But like if this was made nowadays, this would probably have be flat with a print. And kind of a shame interesting that they yeah. And well, Lego, if you're watching this, please redo these creatures. It would be great. It would be nice. But make sure that the 
eyes are flat with a print, and also make sure the legs move move around like the dinosaurs characters do. But also, I see on both of them, they're like standing on four by four plates, representing uh, the fields of Naboo. And I see with this one carrying this little uh, crate container thing, which does roll well. It has using the dish pieces for wheels and so average sloping for the top part. And it on an old hinge goes open up and you get about six of these trans blue cylinders acting as the uh, electro spheres or spheres that the Gungans use to hurt the droids with. But like if this came around nowadays, but if if I were to ask for an update of this set, I would expect these to be like Technic spheres or Technic ball joint spheres, but in the trans blue color, bright trans blue color. Please do that, Lego. And now to the other cod to include with this, which is what Jar Jar sits on too. But and you wonder that. Why is there one antenna included with this? Because I got this used off Bricklink and it's supposed to contain two of these. But I might get a second one of it another time, also on Bricklink. But not sure yet. But I see nothing for his cod dude, but on except for this little plank that has some sort of printed Zack or something on it. Which, of course, is what they often used back then, just tiles with printed objects on them. Probably because the molding machines weren't much up to date and they didn't think of many new elements at the time. But, of course, they did get some over time. And now on to the desert skiff, which kind of alright. Oh, wait. Just give me a sec. As for the building, which you have this front part, which is from some classic space sets, but in dark brown. Let's see. You have plenty of space to fit about like four different figures to it, and also this same with this back area to to figure into, and also some of those cornered pieces just raised up a bit, but not slanted like the other versions and holding a couple antennas to them like so and you have a 2 by 4 brick in the middle which I didn't think the others kind of have which kind of similar to those so like enough space to fit both figures included with this set and of course a proper plank which is which doesn't go in and out just fixed in but you can still stand a figure in it and, and go in and make them fall into the starlight pit like so so for a brief little comparison of this one along with the recent 2017 desert skiff so as you can see, it is this one which is uh, quite a good bit bigger. That this was probably around seven dollars at the, t the time of its release. This was about thirty at the time of its release. And also interesting that this that this older one does not have as many of the figures characters that are supposed to be in the scene. Like there's supposed to be Chewbacca and uh, Lando Calrissian and Boba Fett also. And the Gamorian Guard, yeah, all should be on this when other versions of this, when the other versions didn't also include them. But, and of course, on this one of it, the middle part of it does have a pink compartment to hold some ammunition, which the middle part of which does not do either. 
to incarnate in your in a course that stands in tan compared to clear. But of course, being like this, the sands of Tatooine, just like the pod racer sets at the time also did. But you know, at least it does show some good difference, like of how much they change over time. Like they just may do with what they had at the time, but at least until Snot and whatnot came around or started really taking over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, some proper railing to it, which both versions, which all the versions have, an odd blue piece kind of bleeding through it. Although it should be in like black or something, or in brown as well. But whatever. So now on to the final verdict. Overall, these are which pretty cool set, or pretty interesting set. Even though Desert Stiff Skiff, we did get about many other ver few other versions of over time, but the Gunkum Patrol of which, a very interesting one we've never gotten a redo of, never had the caught to <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Bless me. Anyways, but like if really wish that these would get a redo version at some point in like the next year or so. If Lego's watching this, please redo them. It would be nice for many. And if you have some nostalgic or if you still have these from back then, well, I hope you had some good times with them. And if you are looking still have access to these, like eBay Bricklink, whatever, well, go ahead and order them, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.